Hello everyone, I'm Buck WSR Weezer today with a 1998 Bounder Motorhome update. I wanted to show you something I did regarding my slide out. I installed some manual locks of my own design and I want to show that to you. So coming over here to the slide out, in a previous video I had showed you the repair job we did on, this, on the big 14 foot slide out installing a new hydraulic pump and hoses and it's working great but what I noticed is after it, you fully close the slide out it would tend to drift out particularly here at the bottom an inch or two it, it would drift out and you just wouldn't want to go traveling down the highway with that kind of a gap so I came up with a manual lock system and I want to show you what I decided to do and of course the manual locks are really just for traveling when you're going down the highway. But coming back inside the RV, I want to talk about what had been the original manual slide-out locks. So here at the edge of the slide-out is a, is a hook, and there was a similar one just like this mounted into the floor, like right here. And I guess it's some, maybe it was closer, maybe it was in like this. But of course, I got rid of that when we redid this floor. And I never knew what ran between this hook on the slide out wall and then the hook on the floor. I mean, I never had any cable or strap. There must have been some kind of locking mechanism to tighten that and keep it in place. I had seen some other slide out locks which essentially were a, a bar between here and the wall back there and that would hold it in place problem with that is i can't access on this side because we got the the bathroom wall there so i knew that wasn't going to be a really good solution for me either and again here was the other lock and there was a comparable one here on the floor but i got rid of them and i never had the straps that ran between them i maybe you even i don't even know what ran between them perhaps you do well let's go back outside and i'll show you what i decided to do <clears throat> essentially what i did was to make my own slide out locks using ratcheting tie straps and some eye hooks running between the running between the two uh, um, between the slide out and the frame of the RV and by doing that I can use the ratcheting action of this type of this strap to pull it in and keep it tight against the uh, side there so put one there on the front and then another one here on the back as you can probably see better from underneath again some eye hooks running between the frame of the vehicle and the and the slide out so out here i bolted it through and i put on a piece of stainless steel metal through just to uh give it a little more strength and to spread out the uh the uh you know the the area on which it's going to pull and this has worked really well now the biggest danger in all of this and there's of course our hydraulic pump and had another video on that the biggest danger in all of this no matter what kind of slide out lock system you have is to make sure no one attempts to open the slide out with those locks still in place so what I decided to do as a reminder to myself and anyone else is I put this little note up here at the slide out controls and actually laminated it and put it under one of the mounting screws and it hangs over. It's impossible to operate the slide out without seeing this tag. All right, and so it says stop manual locks outside at base of slide out remove manual locks at base of slide out before opening it or damage will result so that's a permanent reminder there make sure before i attempt to open the slide out 
I go ahead and remove the manual locks. So the manual locks are really just for traveling. All right, that's it. Just a little update. I had to get creative, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I think when we're going down the highway, those manual locks I put in are going to serve us really well. Again, Buck WSR Weezer, thanks for joining me on this project. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.